Hey guys, today we'll be removing and installing a brand new grill on the 2018 and up Chevy Equinox. Before you get started, there's two ways to go about this. Number one, you can either remove the top half of the bumper and let the bottom half be secured to the vehicle, or two, you can remove the bumper entirely off of the vehicle. Whichever way you choose to go, it really doesn't matter. If you'd like a detailed walkthrough on how to remove your Chevy Equinox bumper, be sure and check out this video that I made on how to do just that. Regardless of which way you choose to go, first thing you want to do is remove 6 T15 bolts that lie on top of your grill up underneath the hood. Next, remove 4 T15 bolts that lie on each side of the vehicle up in the fender liner. What I always do is get in the vehicle and turn the wheel from one side all the way just to make life a heck of a lot easier to get to those bolts. After that, you'll want to pull back the fender liner and remove one 7mm bolt that faces downwards towards your toes. That bolt is what holds the bumper to the fender. After removing those bolts, work your way to the other side of the vehicle and complete the same thing. Once all the bolts have been removed from both sides, you are now ready to remove the bumper. If you're not already, make your way to one side of the bumper, place both hands on the corner edge of the bumper where the wheel well is located, and with firm pressure, grab and pull the bumper towards you to release the bumper from the fender. If you'd like to learn how to remove your Chevy Equinox bumper entirely off of your vehicle, check out my bumper removal video down in the video description below. If you take a look down into your bumper, you'll notice that there are 10 tabs that hold the bumper onto the grill. Gently pull back the grill towards your vehicle to break loose the grill from the bumper. Use caution as you do have the potential to break a few tabs on the bumper when removing your grill. However, if you do end up breaking a few tabs, it's not the end of the world. Once you have successfully removed your old grill from the bumper, now Take your new grill and locate the holes below the main portion of the grill and line it up with the 10 tabs that are on the bumper. After that, you'll be able to get that grill snapped into place. Next, all you have to do is reverse the steps and attach the bumper back onto the vehicle. Hopefully this video helped you out and if it did, drop it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video, and until next time, take care.